Today's video is going to be all about single parenting. Oh, look at him. He's still sleeping. How cute. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is Brandon here. Real quick, I just want to give a shout out to all the parents out there who navigate the world of parenting all on their own. Being a single parent is no easy task, but it's also full with joy, countless beautiful moments, and growth. And today, we're here to remind all single parents just how remarkable they are. One of the most remarkable qualities as us single parents has is our unwavering strength and resilience to balance work, household chores, and providing emotional support to our kids can be challenging. But single parents tackle these responsibilities head on, never give up. Did you know the United States has the highest rate of US children living in a single parent household? That is just crazy. Almost a quarter of them under the age of 18 only live with one other parent. I have met so many single parents and it's just crazy just the unconditional love they have for their children. The parent and child relationship, like the child is just the world to them. And I can relate so much being a single dad on the weekends having my son. That's all I want is my son with me. You know, All I want to do is create those fun loving moments. I want him to be happy. He brings me happiness and I'm just here to be the best father figure I could be to him. That being said, I also have a friend of mine that I'm going to be bringing in. Not only get my side of being a single parent, but also her side. And she's a young single mom. Just to let us know, we're not the only ones out there. We're not the only ones out there. I can assure you that. And single dads, if you guys are out there, comment down below. Hey guys, I'm here. I have my friend Anna here and she had volunteered to do this video with me all about single moms because she's a single mom and you know, I'm a single dad slash co-parent. You know, hopefully we shine a light on single parents, you know, just parents in general and just a life of young parents right here. So real quick, I'm just pray real quick. So maybe hopefully somebody finds this video helpful and you know, I guess we could start off with like, just share a little bit more about you. For starters, my name is Anna. I am 20. I have a one-year-old son. I also, I'm a full-time uh, college student. I go to college well, every week for summer classes, but starting fall, I go full-time every single day. I had my son very young, not extremely young. At what, at what age did you have him? I had my son, got pregnant at 18, and had my son at 19. Pregnant at 18, mm -hmm. wow. I was still in high school. Where you were going into your I senior? I was going into my senior year. I walked wow. into senior year with a baby belly. Yeah, I walked yeah. out of my senior year like expecting uh, like my expecting, son. Yeah. yeah. So you were pregnant your last year? My whole senior year. How how pregnant. did that go? Like were were like the teachers supportive? Yeah, I actually um had a lot of teachers who supported me cuz I found out the summer before like going into senior year. Mm -hmm. So like I already had like preparing myself finishing school, graduating yeah. high school. Cause like that was my very top priority before graduating high school. I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. I was actually gonna join the army. Where are you? <laughs> with, gonna... with a belly? You were gonna no, go with a belly? <laughs> you were gonna go pregnant? No, <laughs> no. Yeah. like I said, it wasn't my plan to have kids. <laughs> no, that, I don't think not that's to... anybody's plans no, really. No, it's really not. I feel like kids come when you least expect it. it it's I, like when, I, I feel really like, does. Really I feel does. like I, got pregnant like the dios sabia that i needed him yo like, me too i really thought of that like uh, me too i think about that all the time since like the moment i got pregnant yeah. i was like i i have a feeling like this pregnancy like this was meant yeah. to happen to me my pregnancy was hard i had a high yeah. risk pregnancy i mean i had support of family i always felt like they were like that disappointment feeling because the un principio was like who like I'm 18. I'm yeah. freshly 18. Yeah. I still haven't finished school. I didn't know what I wanted to do after high school. Yeah. So were you ashamed almost? Or like, were you disappointed in yourself? Or like, what would you... I feel like I was both. Porque like, I felt ashamed for my parents because like... For your parents, okay. Because we're like, you know, we're Hispanics. A lot yeah. of people like to talk. They're a hard lot. on us. Yeah. Especially like that a lot of people do like to share their uh -huh. opinions. Uh-huh. Y luego hay mucha gente que luego habla, like... You walk around, they be like, oh, mira esa, está embarazada. That, like, that's a question I was going to ask. Like, mm -hmm. with all that, how would you deal with that stuff or, like, 
I wouldn't what let would it that? get to me. Because at the end of the day, like, no matter what you do in life, somebody's always going to have something to say. Yeah. Like it or not, everybody always has something to say. Yeah. It's always so negative, and they just, like, like to talk down on people. And, like, that's just... I didn't... I really tried not to let it affect me. That's good. That's good. Because mm. out there in the world, like, just me growing up, it's, like, it's everywhere. It's, yeah, like, you, you can't, like... Do not have that like eliminated. It's yeah, always it's always gonna it's be anywhere, there everywhere. and everywhere. Yeah, that's the one thing that a lot of people judge, and I felt like I used to get judged a lot. Like yeah. when I would go to like las tienditas or something, I feel yeah. like I would get stared at really bad. Thing. She looks young. I look I really young. young. A lot of people tell me that I look like I'm 15, 16. Yeah, I look that 16 year old. She's pregnant. <laughs> Little do they know I'm like 18. <laughs> I'm like I'm at a decent age. That's not bad. I mean, there are like women that have. Así hay más chiquitas. I feel like babies come they're, when you they're a blessing them. though they yeah. are a blessing. i feel like that like at first like it was hard for me yeah. but it was just like i was young you know i was getting out of high school you were just starting your life i was and now just you got, i like, couldn't even really start it after high school because <laughs> you're like ready after to, like, that it was just yeah it was luego, like, luego se te cayó la responsabilidad. Mm-hmm. you're like okay well now i gotta you know i gotta plan i gotta yeah. i gotta kid on the way like i gotta make money gotta see what i'm gonna do in the future yeah so how did you become a single mom I became a single mom because uh, my baby's father wanted nothing to do with him. Wow, nothing to do nothing. with him. No lo quería. At when all. I told him that I was pregnant, he don't he don't want to step up as a dad. So like in that, that instant, I knew that I had to be mom and dad at the same time. Wow, how was that? Like when he told, was this like a personal talk or like a text? No, or? like a little mensajito. A little text. I mean, I got heartbroken because who wants that? Like I don't. Nobody wants that. So I feel funny. like when people want kids, you want them to be in a two-parent, healthy, stable household. But unfortunately, that was not the case for me. So, de un principio, I knew I was going to be a single mom. Yeah. Since the moment I found out I was pregnant, I knew I was going to be a single mom. You had that feeling? I had a feeling, too. I, I was 19 going to, like, 20s. And, well, for me, it's a little different. Like, me and I try to be with his mom. Oh. For, so, like, we tried. You know, unfortunately, like, we didn't work out after, yeah. like, three years. So now I'm like, you know, we, uh, you know me, I co-parent with, yeah. my, with my son and, you know, his mom. But at least you stepped up. Yeah. And that's, that's like, that's the one thing que si importa, that yeah. you stepped up. There's but, a lot of uh-huh. guys nowadays who That's don't. That's what's hard for me to, like, understand. How is there people yeah. like that? That's what I want to know. What goes in their head or, like, why won't they step up? up? Like, it's just, it's just amazes me, like. If, like, they knew they were, like, responsible for something, mm-hmm. not stepping up, like you said, like, how, like, what goes in their head to be, like, that's my, to, I don't know, it's just weird, because, yeah. like, I, I can't picture, like, to me, it's like, wow, like, you know, I, I created, like, this human being, and for me to abandon it, yeah. is, like, it's, like, crazy, like, I don't think I could do that, I have a, I have a heart, it's, like, I can't do that, but, like, no, I, like, I met, like, single moms, they share stories where, like, También the baby dad doesn't want to do anything with it. And it just surprised me. Like, it's what? It's sad. Because it's so easy to take care and love a baby. Like, that's like the best feeling ever. Like, but, like, a lot of them don't know. Like, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know either. But, like, you stepped up. That's, like, the one thing that matters is that you stepped up. And I had to step up for two. I had to step up to be a mom and then be a dad at the same time. I always felt alone during my pregnancy. I would barely really? go out. I got depressed my a lot of my pregnancy. Lloraba mucho. I really? would cry a lot. Like up until I got I had my baby, I would just really? cry and cry. And that used to make me like feel bad because I used to be like, cause you know how how they be like, uh, whatever you feel, your baby feels. And I felt that's a Hispanic thing. Yeah. Like oh, you don't want that because uh-huh. te va a pegar al bebé. Yeah, it's gonna attach the baby. Roll. And I used to like feel bad and like I used yeah. to get scared because I'd be like, oh my God, I cry all the time. Yo no quiero que el bebé todo el tiempo anda llorando. Yeah. But luckily for me, when I gave birth, he was literally the happiest baby on earth. That is he would always laugh, smile. I'm going to cry. I missed the newborn stage so oh, bad. Man, now I have I miss- a toddler. <laughs> yeah, my son's four years old. Trust me, I wish I had him in his little baby stage. <laughs> little swaddles. Yeah, They're it was so, so cute. cute. <laughs> I know. I miss that. So, and then the newborn scrunch when they scrunch up. Oh, when you pick them up, They're I miss so that. Little. They fit in your hand. I know, like. You, when you delivered your baby, you're like all by yourself. Yeah. Did you, did you have any support, like family or anything? Oh, like luckily the, for me, I had my mom. Your mom was my there. My mom was with me the entire labor. Oh, and that's up until good. I that's got good. Discharged me. She helped me, gave me, you know, 
some advice, even yeah. though I didn't need it at the time. Nah, I think we all need advice. I but needed like, advice for sure. But, like, the advice I'm talking about was, like, she would be like, push, you got it. Like, girl, I don't want to <laughs> oh, hear that. <laughs> Leave get me that alone. baby out. And I, and I was there, like, girl. And I used to get frustrated because I'm like, Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me do this alone. Oh. But luckily, my mom was actually there for me. Yeah. She stayed with me. Slept on that uncomfortable couch. Really? That couch is mad uncomfortable. I had to sleep on it. <laughs> oh, sorry for spam, but no, I had to sleep on it. <laughs> and it's uncomfortable, right? Duele tu espalda bien feo. My baby mom, she was in that bed, but no, no. I had to sleep in that little couch. <laughs> little couch that has no like cushion to it. It's like no. straight up wood. Like I think I, I think at one point I'm, I I laid down with my baby moms and we were just there cuddling. For real, we we're like because oh. that bed is way more comfortable than that couch. It was. Oh. That's why I laid next to her. I'm like, yo, girl, you're like move, move. Like I know you just delivered the baby, but like you. Like, make... Scoot over, girl. Yeah. <laughs> girl, scoot <laughs> over. Next time you have a baby, you might as well bring it in your match. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh. Who did you tell first, your mom or your dad? Like, my, by your, that you're pregnant. I told my godmother first, actually. Yeah, I didn't God. tell neither of them. I was terrified of telling them. Yeah. But see, imagine, like, just temblando. But I did tell my madrina first, my godmother. She is literally the best person to exist. I can tell her everything in confianza and never feel judged around her. I actually told her first. Really? Because I was so scared of telling my parents. You were scared? It's because the thing with, like, Hispanic parents is, like, they yeah. always amenaz que if you get pregnant, I'm going to kick you out of the house. That's true. Y eso me daba miedo. That's and true. And especially how my mom is. My mom's a really... A strict person. <laughs> my dad's more like a laid back type of dad. And my mom's a little bit more stricter. She enforces mm. rules a lot. So like I was terrified of her reaction. Yeah. But like eventually her. they had to find out. They actually found out the next day. <laughs> <laughs> by you? <laughs> yeah, by oh, me. So you did tell them well, the yeah, next day? Yeah, I had to. With your mother and she, oh no, you got to tell them. Yeah, bro. she was yeah. like, no girl, you got to tell them. <laughs> but bro, that's important to have somebody to go to. Yeah, because... you, you always need somebody to like run to whenever yeah. you need anything. And for me, that person is my, my madrina. Yeah. My... Porque like, I think like when he's older, he, like, you know how like schools be doing like the little Father's Day brunch? I, mm. I have like, me siento mal because I'd be like, really? he's going to feel left out. He's going to be like. Oh, of when, when he grows out, though. Yeah, I cuando crezca un poquito más. Yeah. And that like makes me sad. So like every time I feel sad or like or stuff like that, I just talk to her and she mm. like makes me feel better and stuff. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Trust me. If you're the mom and the dad you Yeah, messy. it's hard though. It gets it hard. It is hard. I'm not gonna lie, it it's is so it is hard. hard. You know, I can't really relate too much. Like I said, mm. I co parent but yeah. I play my part and you know She plays she, her she, part. Yeah, she plays and her happy part. Happy co parents. Yeah. That, that's like the main thing. Happy co parents. Happy, yeah. Happy co I'm surprised. We, our relationship was really, hard. it was really hard and rough Aww. with communication. Like, honestly, like, I didn't believe it would be this how we are now. Like, like, but no, I prayed, like, you know, oh, that, that's that we would good. get better, you know, hope both of us mature, we grow up. Yeah, so you're mature. That's you grow important. Up. And what advice would you give, like, another young mo- mom, like, they made, you know, high school or, like, just got out of high school? What advice would you give them? Like, well, like, I feel like the best advice I can give is that if I can do it, you can do it. Like, yeah. I'm over here, like... You're going to school. I'm going to school full-time. Like, I'm being a mom. Like, sometimes, like, sometimes, like, I would have to feed my baby. Like, when yeah. he was a newborn, and I... Out of high school, I, like, went into college, like, literally, like, two weeks after. I jumped wow. into college. Yeah. With your baby. With my little newborn baby. He was newborn. He was newborn. Two months. That's why I brought you on this show, because school <laughs> is, like... I like school was not for me. I mean, I always struggled in school, so like, <laughs> it's not that I didn't like school. I just always struggled with it, yeah. so it was just hard for me. But like when I see you, when you, when I remember when we talk, like mm-hmm. you, you're going to school. You're about to get your associates. My associates yeah. in social work. In social, wow, in social yeah. Work. So that's like to me, that's big. Yo, you're going to school like yeah. all by yourself. Yeah. That like like yo, you deserve like a big round of applause for that. You, you really do. Thank you. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you have support, help, or like? Yeah, my my family actually does. Like, they really help me. They support me, even though um I felt like they didn't like care about me yeah. during my pregnancy. The second my baby was born, he was showered with so much love. My that family loves him, literally loves him. Like I feel like he brought us like all close. Cause now like yeah. I try like I try to organize family events because I wanna like you know socialize with my family. Yeah. I be having so much fun. He be having fun. Everybody has fun, and I feel like he's just like that piece. But that it brought but it wasn't like that before. Is what you're saying? 
before him? Well, I feel like it was like that, but like it was just like more like, like I used to be like, oh, I'm bored. I don't want to be here. Like sometimes I wouldn't oh. even go to family events because of how bored it was. But I feel like now that I have my son, yeah, like I have a see. reason to go. Yeah, I'm like, oh, let's go to family event. You start seeing like, him in you guys a rag. Have, you guys can see guys. Yeah. You guys can play with him, take care of him for a like little everybody bit. Everybody starts interacting yeah, with him, like, grabbing him, walking him. Yeah, it's literally. I love my I love my family. My oh, family is good. my biggest support. They that's good. have been supporting me since um since I had the baby. When I was growing like in high school, like that's when they like went their own ways. Uh-huh. So like it was hard for me to go to anybody. But my mom. My dad I didn't really like we got along but it's like I couldn't it's like He's you not, feel like a distance. Yeah. Okay. Like not in a bad way. It's just like I, I would rather go to my mom to talk about something uh. than to him because, you know, I don't know, like it's just awkward. <laughs> I yeah. love him and everything, but yeah, it's just like, like it's yeah, just bro, like, it's not, not the same. Like, like advice, same. I would not go to him. I'm the same. Like, for yeah. advice, I go to my mom before. Oh, yeah. That is just mad awkward. <laughs> <laughs> that's because my mom tira mucho berrinche. Was, berrinche. That's tantrums. In tantrums. English, right? Lots of tantrums. He's in like, he's one and he's like already in the terrible twos. <laughs> I'm like, how you jump that fast? Slow down. <laughs> and like, sometimes I have to go to my mom, like, for advice because he'll literally sit here play nicely and then just throw himself back because i took something away from him <laughs> like sometimes he has like a like a fork i don't know where he got the fork from and i'm like trying to make sure he doesn't stab himself in the yeah, eye sometimes i get so frustrated because i'm like Ugh. why is it because like why hurt? like what did i do fucking <laughs> masses i see <laughs> like is that that mommy guiltiness or no yeah because i feel like i don't know you don't like you don't like see it's like you don't like seeing them like that but then you feel bad because you did it but then again it's for the right thing like yeah like he like tries to get into like stuff yeah. like he tries to climb and then i have to get him down because i'm like i know you want to climb but you're gonna like yeah. fall and then he starts screaming and crying and then i feel bad yeah, i'm like no, well i can't no. let you just crawl yeah. everywhere <laughs> like you crawl over there but you can't crawl i feel like everywhere. we all that's like every parent though that's every parent oh though. he like hits himself or something yeah. i feel like it's my fault and then i start yeah. crying with him <laughs> you cry with him <laughs> like <laughs> earlier like he was trying to walk and like my dad let him go to like little walk like, pues que se asoto y que lloro. i started crying oh. too why? Why you i was like it's my fault i was like it's, i was like this is my fault because i'm trying to make him walk <laughs> Pero también tiene que caminar. No, that's true <laughs> so like when you get frustrated what do you tell yourself well sometimes like like of course parents it's hard yeah, it the hard. tantrums are hard sometimes they cry for no reason how do you deal with that and stuff well i cry too <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time when I get really, really frustrated, like, this is bitter, I lock myself in the room and I just cry. I just let it all out and, like, five you minutes do. later, I'm, I'm a very sensitive person. Yeah. Yo lloro mucho. I actually cried yesterday. <laughs> I actually <laughs> cried yesterday. Because I got she frustrated. cried before the interviews. <laughs> Keep it real. I wanted to because I got scared. So, obviously, like, you live with your parents, right? Yes, I do live with my parents. It's actually, I actually, like, live with my parents. I never want to move you can't say that. One I don't want to move out. I don't want to move out. I want to stay here forever. <laughs> I mean, it's hard, though. Not with these prices of rooms and stuff. Oh, my God. Yes, bro. How much bro. they want a room? Like, twelve, sixteen hundred. Uh, I'm like... That's what I'm saying. Like, for single parents, it's, that's it's hard. hard. You must have a good job, though. Yeah, you Especially, need to have a good, stable income. You you need that. Yeah, To, be, like, that. by yourself. That's why I went into social work, actually. I want to be mm. able to help, like, teen parents like me. Because really? I have experience. Like, I, I'm going through it. And I feel like with my field, like, if I'm able to help, like, help someone, I made it. Like, I made it. Like, I know, like, oh, I chose there. the right career for me. Because at first, I actually wanted to be a teacher. That didn't work out. <laughs> Sadly, teachers don't get paid what they should get paid. Until my advisor one day came up to me and was like, you should major in social work. I was like, social work? I never would have imagined no. myself majoring in social work. Because I'm telling no. you, I always had a passion for teaching. teaching. I In high school, I was like, I'm going to be a teacher. Yeah. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a kindergarten teacher, a first grade teacher, all elementary school. I love kids. I love kids. But no, you didn't end didn't up work. Doing I didn't end up doing that. I'm social actually, work. Now I'm in social work. I actually want to start yeah. in my career That's already. Aren't, don't you have a job coming up for it? I have an internship coming internship. up for it in a That's school. Good. I'm literally like, That's good. I'm so excited. You see, that's how I think of stuff. Like, imagine you never had your kid. Maybe you would have been yeah, a teacher. I, that's how I look at stuff. My son actually gave me the motivation to go to college. Because yeah. I'm telling you, I didn't, I didn't have a plan. Oh, Before no. I had, like, I got pregnant, I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Remember, you were telling me they would talk down on you, saying like you ruined your life or something. Yeah. Like that. Who would say, like, your family or friends or? It's not. The, it's just like the people that judge. They'd yeah. be like, Oh, look at her. She ruined her life. She's like. She's like young. She's, she's not gonna young. Go to she's not gonna go to school. She's like probably gonna stay at home, mom. No. 
I'm going to college so, full time. So you use that as a motivation, and that's what you always told me. Mm-hmm. Like you, I actually use that as a motivation. I remember you told me that, like, yo, you're gonna finish school because yeah, you know, literally you're trying to prove them wrong at the I'm same time. And I'm trying to give my son the best future I could possibly give him. Yeah. I'm trying to give him unforgettable memories. Wow. Like I want yeah. him, I want him to grow up and be like, oh yeah, my mom was a single mom, but look everything that that's she did good. for me. She put herself through school when I was such a young <laughs> baby, and I want him to get inspired by me and to go to college you know like go to college and be something like and that's why i'm making this video and those kids you know growing up they're gonna see what you did they're gonna see yeah he's gonna see how much i struggle how much i i i cry a lot sometimes i cry about college because like i say it gets frustrated i bet it does i feel like all those tears one day are gonna be so worth it and he's gonna be like mom look i got a bachelor in this i got a associate in this i'm going to the army i'm gonna do this then i know that i did my job as a parent wow that's that's really inspiring but sometimes you make me want to go back (laughs) to school or like do something real estate or something yeah like if i can do it you can i actually like i'm in this like I guess you could call it a program in, like, college. They're, like, there for you to support, like, if you ever need anything. Like, if you ever want to take a break or whatever, they're always there for you. I know this one girl that they posted about. She's a single mom to four kids. And she graduated with a 4.0 GPA in nursing. Wow. That literally, when I read that, like, the whole paragraph that they wrote Worth, to her. was like. I need to interview her. You should. I should. What are some of the biggest challenges you face as a single mom? I mean, like, yeah, I have support and stuff like that. But sometimes I feel alone. Because it's so just being me. Alone. It's just being alone. Yeah, like, I know my family's there, but sometimes mm. I feel like I'm alone. Like, I have, like, that, this thing. I, that is true. Like, when I'm with my son, like, yeah. the other person. It, like, where's... I'm, I was used to it before, but, like, See. now not having it. Like, it's normal to me. Like, I'm already used to it. Like, just, yeah, like you, you know, just, you kind of miss it first. Yeah. yeah. I guess you kind of miss it yeah. first. Just having somebody there. But, but you never went through that. No. That's that. But I feel like maybe that's why. I go out or whatever. I see, like parents like happy oh, parents with their that kids gets to you? and that gets wow. to me a lot why can't i have that like why didn't i have that i feel like like i say i feel like my pregnancy was meant to happen to me that's how you just gotta look at it yeah, everything positive everything yeah, yeah. i feel everything, like everything i feel like god ne- knew that i yeah. needed something to motivate me he couldn't figure it out but he was like you know what yeah. maybe a baby's gonna motivate her that, you know, that's exactly and it motivated I, me that's so exactly much. how i see my son as a motivation yeah me too because i'd be like I want to give you everything I can possibly give you. Mm-hmm. Like, every time I go out to the store and he points at a toy, I'm adding it to my car. I feel like, throw everything really? in the car. Oh, throw no. everything in the car. I try not to do that. I try not to, like, put them in that, like, oh, you go get whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, see. But then, like, I feel, I, I think maybe I feel like that porque I'm a single mom. And, like, oh, that's a good way to put it. That's and I'd be like, well, like, you know, like. You, I didn't know. Like, i never seen it like that. Yeah. You don't have a dad, but you have me, and I'm going to give you everything you want in this world. So what have been one of the most like memorable and joyful moments you had with your child? All of them. All of them? All Good. Of them. I love that answer. That's a All perfect of them. All answer. Of them. All of them. When he was a newborn, like I would take monthly milestone pictures yeah. like of every month, and I put, like on his birthday party, I put them side by side. Really? And it was so cute, like seeing him like being this little cute little baby to this big cute chubby cheeks, chubby wow. chubby chubby cutie. I wish I wish I had done that. I just girls are always like so yeah. detailed with yeah. everything. I know my son isn't gonna remember, but like I go to the park every single day, like when I can, like before his nap time. I go to the park every single day, and we have lunch as a picnic, every single day, yeah. every single day. He might not remember it, but like I feel like that heals me. Cause like I wish I had that growing up. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like that's why I, like every time yeah. I go out, I, I try like, to do so much fun stuff. Cause it heals yeah. my inner child so. Much. It does. It does. Me too. Me too. Like I be going mm-hmm. like just what Saturday I went to the zoo with my son and. That's so cute. It's just like it's fun and it, it's like yeah. it heals your inner child because like. It does. I, I wish have, I had it. Uh, yeah, like I wish I had that growing up, but like unfortunately I didn't. Uh-huh. Thank you for being a part of this. I appreciate you. This last question. I guess, again, as a single mom, like, what could, if you could give a message out to, like, everybody, like, all the parents, and, like, what would your message be to them? I know parenting is hard. I know it gets frustrating. I know it gets stressful. But these are, like, the moments that, like, you have to cherish forever. Because one day they're going to be older. Mm -hmm. They're going to have their own family, and they're going to go through the same thing. And you're Mm -hmm. always going to be there to give them advice and it's just 
Having kids is literally like the best thing that could happen to anyone. For me, the point of these videos is like if I can inspire a guy who's probably going to have a baby or just found out he's having a baby or wants to know about parenting. I don't know if I could give mm -hmm. inspiration to like somebody to like change their mind. And it's like it's going to be good. Just it's think of a positive. It's gonna, it is going to be hard. It is going to be hard. Just as long as you have like some support, you know, you have somebody to go to, you and your baby have a good relationship. And if you're with the mom, you know, just have a good relationship. Yeah. And if not, then, you know, it's still good. It's okay. I'm co-parenting. But it has to be positive co-parenting. Yeah, you can't it do that does. negative co-parenting. I just wanted to show this real quick. I got your Target gift card. Oh, you didn't have Cause to. Because I know you like Target. No? Let's, here. <laughs> Take it. Take it. Yeah. Thank There's $25. So go buy you or you guy a song. Now I can do my class. This is going to help with your <laughs> college <laughs> presentation, right? So oh, she's is. helping me and I'm helping her. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, this video inspires somebody. Thank you, guys.